All right, two Jack Bros, we are back coming in with this is technically the first official episode of the new format. How do you feel about that? How is it? <laughs> okay, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, uh, it's still the same with us. I don't want anybody who has known to, uh, who has come to love a particular sense of humor that they get from this podcast. I don't want them to think that that's gone. That's right, still here. Right, right. We still got that going. Yeah. That's all we got. You just got format now. We just got a little format. We just got a little structure. All right. You know? It's uh, we have decided to kind of lean heavily into the aspect of the two of us kind of on our quest for enlightenment. And we decided to make that more the focus of this podcast, you know, two smart hearted human beings. <laughs> that sounds like it's like soft hearted, smart hearted. It's like, yeah, <laughs> it's nice. <laughs> yeah. Just, you know, trying to stay our individual selves and not have to change one iota, yet still somehow reach enlightenment, (laughs) I think can be done. Is that the problem? (laughs) (laughs) Did you just figure out our problem? Maybe. Maybe. Or I just or I just laid out our daunting path. Oh, okay. Right. (laughs) Yeah. So, yeah, we still will will remain the same. We just got a little format to help us get. you'll kind of stay on task a little bit, but we'll explore. Well, if you want to reach enlightenment, you've got to stay on task and explore at the same time. That already off to a good start. Look how powerful the format has already become. Yeah. It's already become. Yeah. Yeah. You got it. And and if we, we natural explorers of conversation, I would say we are. Yeah. And you can't deviate unless you have like a, a path. Like yeah, you can't yeah. deviate from the map unless you have a map. Yeah, you're just V8ing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you just you can't you can't be out there V that's chaotic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> which which is where we like to be. Yeah. I, I thought of a cool word for our our thirst for uh exploration through conversation. You did? It's probably not new, but I didn't want to Google it and find out that You didn't want I disappointment. Yeah, I, well I wanted to be able to say it without and have plausible deniability. Yeah. Okay. You can you can stay smart hearted. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Might not get you to enlightenment, but <laughs> Okay, you ready? Yeah. Convonauts. <laughs> like astronauts but for conversation. Yeah. Come on. It's good. Come on. It's good. Don't look it up. <laughs> <laughs> Do everything you can to get that attributed to Two Jack Bros. Then look it up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, you you, you ready? To you be ready? a convo knot? Yeah. We're going to convo knot this and see what we can do. Yeah. I almost want to wear like a space helmet to do this. Yeah. Like, wa- not a real big heavy one, like, you know, a kid's one. I'm wearing astronaut underwear. <laughs> a diaper? I'm pissing right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pissing with excitement. Mm. And just and it's it's being turned into drinkable water. <laughs> you think astronauts <laughs> have conversations when they're doing that? Like while they're pissing and shit? Yeah, yeah. They I mean, at first no. Yeah. But then it has to be one of those things where it's like all of a sudden somebody slinks away from conversation and gets all <laughs> quiet and weird. Yeah. It's like Jack, you're you're shitting, aren't you? <laughs> You know, like I think you would kind of just be talking and just be like, yes, yeah, so I would. <laughs> <laughs> oh, when I was a little kid, we played Monopoly all the time. One time my family got this really big fight over. <laughs> <laughs> like kids. When kids yeah. just keep having a conversation <laughs> yeah. with you and you're like. Hmm. Yeah. So what is what is happening here? <laughs> what is happening here? I, uh, so, yeah, here we go. First segment. Segment number one. I decided to mix it up a little bit. <laughs> you you getting off path before you <laughs> get on path. So such an ass. Oh, wait, uh, nah, uh, a combo knot. Yeah, a combo yeah, knot. I'm such a, a combo knot. I'm, I'm a maverick combo knot. Yeah, you are. <laughs> you gotta at least get in the spaceship, Cindy. Like, <laughs> You're like, oh, I'm gonna take my own vehicle to the moon. <laughs> nah, I got a Chevy Lumina. <laughs> 1999 Chevy Lumina. I'm going to the moon, baby. <laughs> Take us away, Sydney. I'll figure it out. I'll, I'll figure it out. I don't need no map quest. I'll figure it out. So yeah, I am. I'm. I am deviating from the format already. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm just switching up a couple of segments. Okay. Which don't even have a place yet. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so here we go. This is. Uh, this segment is called my bad. <laughs> So this is this is a great place for us to kind of like reflect on the week and any negative energy that we might have been responsible for creating or or that we had towards another person, maybe whether they know it or not. Yeah. This is a chance for us to apologize 
and get that apology into the ether. Get that positive apology into the ether to balance out that negativity. Okay. Okay. Yeah. You like that? You like that? Yeah. I, mean, you, it's, 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 it's a, I think it's a good idea. I mean, and, and it can be anything. So I'll give you my, my example, right? Well, not my example. I give you I give you mine <laughs> for the week. Yeah. I uh, I think I want to send out an apology to fat white moms. I think you should. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> right? I think I owe them that. Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty harsh. I'm pretty harsh on fat white moms. Yeah. no, You don't come any slack. None. Yeah. I need to start. Yeah. Yeah. And it's like nothing particularly happened between me and any one fat white mom. You didn't ruin any fat mom, white, fat white mom's day. No. Or no fat white mom has ever ruined my day. No. Oh. Either. Yeah. P- personally. Yeah. But it's, uh, and, and, and it's really, I, I really, f- the reason why they deserve an apology is because I feel like I target them more when they have biracial children. Yeah. Because that's when it's like, this is my business now. Yeah, you do think it's your business. <laughs> it's not your business. It's none of my business. It <laughs> it's is just n- a woman out there with a kid. That's all it is. Trying to be a mom. Just trying to be a mom. In fact, why not? Yeah. It's, it's, this is America. Yeah. Like every, I guess every three out of four people probably fat in America now. I don't know. I don't know what the pandemic did to that. Yeah. But yeah, man, I'm, I'm really... I'm really trying to dial that back and not have, especially like when I see like a fat white mom with a biracial child that's also fat. Yeah. Or I'm just like, what are you, what are you doing? Yeah. And then I had a moment where I was like, why am I doing this? I should be upset at all fat moms. With fat, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yeah. Why am I limiting this to like fat white moms with biracial children? Why, Sydney? You know, I, it should be all moms. All moms. And then I was like, it should be no moms. <laughs> <laughs> I need to chill back on fat moms. You need to, on all moms, Mother's Day is coming up. You can get your shit together for Mother's Day. And then you can like not write some snarky, sarcastic <laughs> remark on Facebook <laughs> in Mother's Day. People don't know how to take And they're like, I, I think I love it. I don't know. Is he being nice or mean? And confusing everybody. Well, I can't be, I don't think it can be all moms yet. <laughs> I'm still working through some serious trauma from single mothers. <laughs> I think single mothers are still on the chopping block for me. I need some time to work out a few things All right, well, before you I can send out an apology to single mothers. But I'm, this is gro- this is about growth. It's about growth. This is about growth. You took a step in the right direction. Yeah, single mothers can sit the fuck down and shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> but fat white moms, you're, you're good again. I'm good. We're good. All fat moms. Let's let's go. Yeah. Let's go. Get hype. Yeah. Right. You have any, any, any apologies for the week? Oh man, I was trying to think, and I was like, I'm sure I should apologize to you for something. I mean, that's mostly what this segment is about. <laughs> yeah, that's why you snuck it in there. Yeah, it's a great way for me to get all <laughs> the apologies that I needed for the week. Did I was I was I rude and bratty to you this week? Do you have an example of uh, what I should? <laughs> do you have an example of what I should be apologizing <laughs> to you for, Sydney? It's hard to say because I'm just so stoically handling all of your explosions, you know. Yeah, yeah. So it's really hard to say uh, because it's again uh, as per what you get in in the samurai that I am, I don't keep track of those things. How about this? I'll owe our son an apology because. He learned a lesson the hard way while I was there. Okay. All right. So today when we were at the dog park. Yeah. First, he he's holding Nana for me and he lets her like on the long leash and he lets yeah. her go up to a big dog before he's like, hey, is your dog friendly? Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, Finn, you got to like stop her from going over there. You know, like what if that's why we always ask is, you know, you always have that conversation is dog friendly. You're going to get Anna hurt. Like, don't do that. You'll get Anna hurt. So I go, okay, okay, okay. Um, I'm like, wait, did our dog get hurt? <laughs> <laughs> Next. It's like, oh, oh. Your son is, is going to throw is the an, ball Is this a story of animal cruelty? <laughs> <laughs> should you also be apologizing to our dog? Because like, now that you mention it, I should probably have some apologies to the dog. But go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead. No, so this is, this is hooray for mom, right? I, okay. taught, he, I taught him a lesson. He didn't have to learn it the hard way, right? The dog didn't have to learn it the hard way, hopefully, yeah. right? So now he's going to throw the dog the ball. ball. Don't throw it at anybody, Finn. Make sure you don't throw the ball at anybody. He throws it, hits Huntley right in the middle of the chest. Dog barrels after it, gently takes it as it bounces off of her. Dude, Anna got footwork. Yeah. Dude, she (laughs) stops on a dime. Yeah. It is insane. 
and the girl can catch. I'm yeah. just saying, she's the of all of the children we have, our dog is the best catch. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. our kids can't catch. No, <laughs> our kids, I mean, well, actually, they're they're, they're working better. on it. They're working they on it. Like, they're, like I don't I don't know if um I don't know right now if you're in a situ- if you're in a sports situation and you're like you know you're you're like against the clock and you need this catch. Yeah. Don't throw it at our kids. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? But if you're up a little bit, you know what I mean? Yeah. You know, you're not bringing them in for garbage time. Oh, yeah. yeah throw them all to pass it. You <laughs> yeah. Know? Um, so, Finn, don't make somebody hurt, learn the hard way, right? Yeah. Don't, I told you don't throw the ball at people for a reason, right? So now I'm doing something on my phone and I'm not paying attention. I'm like, Finn, don't throw the ball near me. Throws the ball. It comes right down right next to me. I'm like, Finn, what the hell? You know, what the hell, yeah. dude? He picks up the ball. He throws it far away from everybody. <laughs> yeah. Anna starts taking off. I'm like, Finn, you better run with her because she. he threw it far. Yeah. He goes, starts running. He's not fast enough. He's got the leash like around his wrist and he flies forward and has to stop, like skids along the ground. <laughs> <laughs> He's like a, like a little skipping rock. Yeah. <laughs> yes. and he, he, he stopped. There's like a concrete path. That was like How right many skips do you think he got? <laughs> like, like four. All right, good job, Anna. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and, and you know, Anna can skip our son about four times. <laughs> She's a strong dog. He said that afterwards. He was like, I didn't know she was that strong. <laughs> 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 but as he's skipping, he's getting like closer and closer to this concrete path, and he's yeah, like, yeah. S- like dust is like flying, and he's like skidding. I was like, yeah. oh no! But um, he's a cartoon cloud of dust. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he got he got this far on the concrete. He ripped up a, like a chunk of his hand. Yeah, and he ripped up his pinky where he was like holding. Like yeah, it was, that's where he's cut himself, and he's all dirty. Okay, I'm like Finn. <laughs> okay. I was like, that's what learning the hard way is like all about like yeah. i told you three times like that's why we tell you these things so you don't have to learn the hard way yeah i think i should also apologize to our son because uh i think i think all of those erroneous throws are because of i we all i also haven't taught our son how to throw shit <laughs> <laughs> our, son, our son can't throw and catch that's my problem i apologize that's my bad and you're mad at single moms <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what is your problem Weekend dad. Totally fair. <laughs> like, if nothing else, single moms, their kids are the best athletes. Yeah. <laughs> like, far and away the best athletes. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe, I mean, I, I, again, like, thank you. That That's already helping me kind of, like, find common ground. Yeah. <laughs> with these witches. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, um, yeah, that's good. That's good. It's good. Yeah. Maybe apologize to Anna a little bit because yeah. <laughs> but it's been a funny process because like, you know, the, again, we're, we're, we're dog owners now. Yeah. You know, which is, uh, which has been, it, it was a pretty immediate transition. Yeah. Right. And we basically in, inherited a, a pup. Mm-hmm. Right. And it, it's been, you know, when, so when I, you know, you, it, I'm excited to be a dog owner mm-hmm. and you know, when we first get the dog and I'm like, like the things that I am thinking to Google to help train the dog, you know, it was just like starting off like, you know, how do you, how do you train a dog to have a new recall word? Yeah. Right. And then like the next is like, how do you get a dog to walk next to you without pulling? Yeah. Right. And then it's like, how do you not fuck up your dog? <laughs> <laughs> how do you not fuck up your dog? <laughs> like, Are people really out there not fucking up their dog? I just need to know this. I need to know this. <laughs> Yeah. So I apologize to Anna for even considering <laughs> googling it. <laughs> I, mean, can, I googled it a couple times. <laughs> I googled like like can you hit your dog? <laughs> yeah. How hard? <laughs> yeah. What is the amount of hitting your dog that matches the aggression that they have in the wild, and isn't animal abuse by me? Right. Mm-hmm. That's a when you type in how do you? That's like what the third thing that comes up. <laughs> <laughs> You like that? So that's a that's a new segment. Mm-hmm. That's a fun new segment. I like it. Yeah. Right. Give out our apologies. Um, so here we go. Here's another new segment. <laughs> is it out of order already? Well, this is this is typically going to be our opening segment. Oh, okay. Right. Okay. You like? So and we we're have back we, in the spaceship. We're back. We're back in. I'm no longer mavericking out there. <laughs> okay, I'm glad. You know? Okay. I, was just, I just went out there to make a TikTok video. I'm yeah. back. <laughs> okay. I'm back. Okay. Uh, so, okay. So again, I don't really have a name 
for this yet. Yeah. Right? It's just basically how do you how would you brand your week? Like if you had to title the week that you just had, like how yeah. would you or weekend, week or weekend or whatever whatever stands out about you know, this past week or weekend that you feel deserves a label or feel like it was a reoccurring theme or or however you wanna handle that. I I did I did I, I did have a little play on words for a name. Mm-hmm. Uh what what was I calling it? Oh, it was oh, maybe it wasn't as fun. Oh. I, didn't, I didn't say it out loud yet. Oh, okay. Yeah, it was like, what, what's your weak ass name? <laughs> They're like, weak. <laughs> you see what I did there? Yeah. You like it. Nah, you gotta be more positive. Don't call my weak ass. Yeah, but it's like W E E K. Yeah. Ass. Oh, because it's butts and it's yeah. weak. And yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Weak ass name. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> it was all the things we're about. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're about time and butts. <laughs> And yeah. names, right? And names, yeah. Names. So I mean, like when I, because when I was first, when I was first thinking of this this week for me, mm-hmm. it was um, uh, the week of too many donuts. Oh really? You've had too many donuts this I've week. I've definitely had too many donuts. This I didn't week. even know this about you, man. Every time you don't see me, yeah, you eating donuts. Yeah, I'm, I'm I'm out there hunting down donuts. Wow. Everywhere, from everywhere, everywhere that has donuts, I've had a donut from there recently, and more than one. Wow. Look yeah, at over you. over the past week. Like anytime you hear the car door shut and the car <laughs> <laughs> and the, the car You're take off. You're sucking your fingers <laughs> when you come back. <laughs> yeah, I've been I've been crushing donuts. Oh, look at you. I've been crushing donuts. And um like I like like tonight when we had uh dinner. Yeah. Like we had, we had, <laughs> you had donuts? Yeah. <laughs> <it was laughs> yeah, well, so when we had um like I got, we got Thai food, and there was broccoli with my food. Yeah. And I know that when I ate the broccoli, I could feel it go into my body and start doing things that vegetables are supposed to do. <laughs> you know what I mean? It was. Like, I don't think I've been eating vegetables. I've been yeah. Like, I just been eating the meats <laughs> that we've been cooking, <laughs> and then like sneak off to have donuts. Oh man. Yeah. And then, uh, but then like also because I've been crushing these donuts, my sleep has been off. Yeah. Right. So my donuts have come back. Right. Yeah. My bad sleep has come back oh no right the movie mortal Kombat came out yeah right yeah so i called my week mortal come back you're welcome <laughs> ladies and gentlemen you're welcome my name is cindy again i'm here all week <laughs> by the way check out our patreon subscribe like review all that stuff yeah but uh yeah man it's um yeah did you did you watch the movie mortal Kombat yet no, I saw a couple scenes of it and I was like, holy moly. And then when kids were telling me they watched it, I was like, okay, I don't think I want to watch it. Yeah. Like, yeah. what do you mean by that? It was gory. Like, it was. It was Exploding heads and things. Yeah. It's, it's, um. I mean, it's common. It's like the, the game. Like the I get game. it. I get yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just. Like, I had to explain that to the kids. The kids were, because the kids were like, oh my God. I was like, it's like the video game. I'm like, oh, we see it. <laughs> Yeah, like they don't yeah. watch movies where sharks bite people's heads off. Yeah, but it was they don't necessarily watch movies where humans do that to each other. Yeah, right. Like it's like sharks are monsters. They yeah. get that. Yeah. You know? Okay. But like having humans do that to each other. Yeah. That's pretty wild. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And also too, um, I thought it was the the funniest thing that I I found about the Mortal Kombat movie is well everybody was saying how bad it was. Yeah. You know that's all social media was like. Just, but it's oh, kind of spoofy. Like it's supposed to be like a, like it'd be like a sci-fi. Like it. I, I don't. I mean, I don't know. Maybe. Oh, okay. I mean, but I, I, I'm. I consider it that. Yeah. Like I, excuse me. I don't know. I don't want to like uh, speculate on the intentions of the director. Yeah. You know. Although I don't know if if you're making movies like Mortal Kombat, I feel like we're allowed to speculate whatever the fuck we want. Right. He's not making like an Oscar winner, right? He's not making. Like, it, it, it's up for an Oscar. <laughs> Mortal Kombat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think it was best score. Yeah. In, yeah. in cinematography. Yeah. Yeah. I'm no, sure. it's um so but what I found funny about it is the script it felt like it was written by like a teenager that got cursing for the first time. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it was like like you like again like I don't I don't care about the gore and like we we we're open as far as language is concerned in our house. But having them watch this movie I'm like I, I, they're, they're like cursing for cursing's sake. Yeah. It's like, I don't want our kids to curse like that. Yeah. <laughs> like, I just want to be like, well, son, the way that that comic book character is cursing is very immature. 
Okay. Yeah. When you curse, I want you to, <laughs> you know what I mean? I want, you, I want you to pepper it in the conversation like a spice. You yeah. Know? Think of it as cinnamon, not salt. <laughs> you know, it's, uh, I guess salt, not sugar. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. It's you. Not, it's that, it's that, that's not a, wasn't, wasn't as a black man, like, you're getting yeah. diabetes either way. It's like yeah. too much salt, too much sugar. Um, Yeah. So uh, where, where, how's your week? How's your. Uh, What's my title for the week? Yeah. Uh, the search for the universal soul. Man, I love it when women talk like that. <laughs> like that's like that's always I've always felt like um, you know, like girls that like say f- phrases like that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> are always like the easiest to hook up with. Yeah, and you love it. <laughs> I mean, it's just like I'm just glad that they're out there, you know, because all you got to do is just like be like, oh wow, that's deep. You just keep like every time they say something like, oh my god, I get that. That's you, you put that together? Yeah, that's deep. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> All right. So how what what is what is the search for the universal soul? Circus. The universal soul circus. <laughs> <laughs> I was not looking for a black man. <laughs> <laughs> you well know, you, you you do know that the universal soul circus exists, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I just want to make be very clear that there is a universal soul circus. And yes, it is black people in tights doing Cirque du Soleil. Yeah. <laughs> it's black Cirque du Soleil in case anybody out there didn't know. Yeah. I think that's a pretty common. It's I pretty think common people thing. know. Yeah. yeah. It's like the universal soul circus and river dance are like yeah. icons in our brain for some reason. None of, we, all of us know about it and none of us have ever seen it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know who's going to all those concerts. Yeah. Who stuff. the fuck is sitting through river dance? <laughs> <laughs> always sold out on the videos you know what i mean like how many different scene changes can make that look different you know what i, I mean need two hours of that in my life <laughs> <laughs> universal soul circus i mean you need two hours of that i i could take two hours they probably get up yeah they do they probably got some can crazy you imagine hops. the ringmaster he's a probably quite a character i mean that's how black people already dress <laughs> <laughs> it was like they bring their own outfits for the audition. Yeah. It's like, <laughs> um, but yeah, so you're, you're, you're looking for soul. You got a black man sitting next to you. I don't know why it, this search is so hard. <laughs> you you got soul to the left. Yeah. But yeah. So what, what have you found in your search for the universal? Is that what, you, is that what it is? You're looking for the universal soul? Well, it was uh, diving into like what is the human soul, right? Yeah. And I think where I've come out the other end is that, you know, it's a mystery that we don't understand. <laughs> Great answer. <laughs> <laughs> but, but it's also that it has a lot to do with how everything is connected mm-hmm. and not singular. And that, you know, um, that I feel like I'm going to say a bunch of things that might not make any sense, but I'm just going to say them, okay? Hell yeah. <laughs> and you just have See, to be like, I get you, girl. Yeah, yeah, okay? yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm trying to get laid. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, you know, like, the ocean is vast, right? <laughs> <laughs> Damn, girl. You come Good. up with that all by yourself? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you put that together? Uh-huh. <laughs> you know what? I'm a th- I thought about it. I can't find any arguments with that. <laughs> I'm going to have to agree with that just based off of the principle that I cannot find a counter argument. Okay, good, good. I'm glad you're with me. That's, um, that's deep. Yeah. <laughs> that vast ocean shit you be kicking? Just just you wait. I'm not done yet. <laughs> and how, you know, if part of the, a little bit of the ocean is waving, right? Mm-hmm. It's doing the waves. It's waving. The ocean is waving, right? So every little bit. Wait, actually, that's fucking deep. Wait, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> hold on. I need a second to process that. <laughs> I was trying to get laid down. I just want to understand what you said. <laughs> <laughs> I man, that's wild. So like every we are all the universe at the same time. Yeah, you know, as being us. And so like you have uh, a consciousness, right? And we train our focused consciousness all the time from the time we were little kids, you know, like, look at this. What is this picture? Look right here. Go to school. Focus on this, you know, on your phone, like on on, you know, the whatever it's right in front of you. Like what we're doing as human beings, our whole life is training ourselves on this singularity of focus. But we have another focus, right? So like if you're driving in a car and you're talking to somebody or you're listening to a song, whatever, and you get really like deep into that thought, you you drive yourself home safely, right? 
you stop at all the stoplights, you see all the people walking by, you see other cars, you don't crash because you have like a, a wide angled focus too. We just never practice that wide angle focus, you know, like that's like more the meditation and like that's our connection to the entire universe. And like we're, we're so focused on this, this individual thing that we feel like individuals and we feel separated from everybody so that like our soul, I think has more, much more of a connection to that brighter, broader focus in life, that broader consciousness. And that like that, um, you know, that's kind of how, like whatever the mystery is, that's how we, we never leave each other and we don't lose, you know, like souls don't get created and destroyed. Like it's, you know, it's all there all the time. Man, and I'm over here just munching donuts. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just sneaking off and munching donuts and you're fucking reaching. Man, God. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm not just saying this to get laid, but damn, girl. <laughs> that's deep. <laughs> I don't trust you anymore. <laughs> <laughs> nah, as soon as like as soon as like you start you like like talking about crystals and shit, yeah, that's when I make my move. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, yep, yep, I got her, got her. This is this is this is this is, this is all right. It's go time. Go 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 go. <laughs> like, damn girl, the way you were talking about like, those crystals and explaining how they connect to the earth, I get that now. <laughs> <You know? laughs> but yeah, that's um, it's pretty wild, and that's and that's so. What what have you researched in your week or what like how has I, I don't even know what that I feel like every every time I go to ask a question about it, I feel like, man, damn, she kind of answered that question. Yeah. 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 I mean, I you know, to get there, you know, I did some research on the soul and the different ways that we think that we can recognize the soul or prove the soul, you know, and, um, you know, there's there's um uh near death experiences you know of course because then we're like oh well the soul leaves the body and it comes back to it so like there's something there you know we're trying yeah. to understand what that is um there's reincarnation right because we think a soul can be passed to another person so if you can prove at any time like those when children have those connections to previous lives we're like see look like there's a soul connection here you mm -hmm. know and like we're like trying to understand what that is or what that means to us um and what else there's uh well you you were telling me the a story about that the previous life situation right? yeah about a and kid yeah it was like I, you got to tell me again because when you were telling me i was like kind of uncomfortable and hot so I, was, like, having a hard, <laughs> I was having a hard time listening but i really wanted to learn because i'm you know i'm trying to get laid so yeah, i'm trying yeah. to like man this is a really neat story i just i'm like I can't get uh. <laughs> so there was this little boy and um he he started having nightmares and he would be laying on his back with his hands in there and his feet in there, kind of like kicking them, kicking them and screaming like he was terrified, you know. And that went on for a while. And the mom was always trying to comfort him and like, you know, figure out what's going on. And then um, and this started when he was little, like two or something. And uh, so as he got a little bit older and he was like, he was like, um, I can't get out. I can't get out. You know, like he started adding words to it and stuff. And she's like and he, he used to love um fighter jets you mm -hmm. know he just you know like but lots of little boys do you know but like he yeah. played with them all the time and um he finally told her that and he what, was what, what what era is this this is this happened in like the 2000s oh okay like or I, yeah because yeah, sure there was 2000s. a time like when our, when our parents were young like toys were only like like all toys were like government issued toys, yeah. <laughs> like fighter jets, tanks, yeah, like little ovens. G.I. Joe's. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like, <laughs> this is what little boys play with. This is what little girls play with. It's like we're gonna go to war and bake cookies. What's yeah. up? <laughs> yeah. Um, no, but it was definitely in a time of an era of so there's toys. like 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 options upon options upon options of toys to play with. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And he like you know, and um. And then so he told his parents you, and he used to draw pictures of like planes and like it was always a picture of a plane being shot down out of the sky. Mm -hmm. And um, then he told his mom that he was stuck in a cockpit, a cockpit of a plane that was getting shot down. And he had a name of who he was, you know, like in these in these experiences. And um, then he told him about uh, his aircraft carrier that he took off and he told a real um, name of an aircraft carrier and so like the parents are like in secret like researching this yeah be like like what the heck is going on you know yeah and like they're finding like <laughs> the person with the name they're finding the aircraft carrier you know like they're finding this information matching up 
And um, he just talked about this person more and more. And then like his three G.I. Joes had the name like Sam, Dave and Gerald or something. And like yeah. <laughs> those three people were in that guy's that guy. Yeah. He was in World War Two and he got shot down. And yeah, because um, yeah, those those the way I mean, I know you were kind of like like making up the names as best as you can remember, but kind of having them like in the way that they felt like the names that that they were it, that that the way you said it sounded like three people who do the Charleston. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean. It was, yeah. it was just like, yeah. Or I could, I could something about the way you said it. I could tell. I could, I could feel the era. Yeah, the, the, era, <laughs> yeah, the era rather. Yeah. So uh, all right, go ahead. So so then um, so like then they they were like okay like something's going on here you know and like there was all this information that matched up and and he like knew information about jet planes that were like you know shocking it was like how do you know that type of stuff you know yeah. and so they introduced him to this the only living relative of this man that he said that he had this connection to was his sister and they introduced him to the sister and um you know they met each other and then he asked the sister if she could send him the picture that their mom drew of them when they were little that was in the attic like Damn. she didn't tell him about this yeah so he she sent it to him and like he had like this, and this picture. was like a, this picture was like a staple of their life because like that I mean like if, if somebody said that to me like hey you know could you get that picture your mom drew I'm like what? I don't know what the fuck my mom does yeah I mean, but then again I have like a single mother in a weird relationship <laughs> with my mom of course <laughs> so it's like I guess that's probably more of the reason yeah like, all right so yeah, yeah we can yeah. move on from yeah. that <laughs> I apologize <laughs> I'm asking questions that are kind of revealing my fucked up childhood <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, how did he know? <laughs> Wait, how did she knew her mom drew that picture? <laughs> Wait, she talked to her mom like that? Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and so so they were like, okay, he's like connected to this man, you know, like they lived a little while like that. And then as he was getting older, um, like eight or nine, they took a trip out in the Pacific Ocean to where this man's fighter jet had gotten shot down. And the little boy gave a little speech and like was saying goodbye to the man. Like he has to live his own life now. Like I can't keep living your life. You know, mm -hmm. it's time for me to be me. Um, threw a huge bouquet of flowers in the water, said goodbye to him and cried for like an hour. And then they came back ashore and he like no longer had that connection. Man, that's wild. Do you think there might be a little old Jewish man in our son? <laughs> that he needs to make peace with? <laughs> because when you first said that, I started thinking about all the like, you know, there's like these little kids that are like these little old souls and even like they seem to, no matter what clothes you, you put on them, they all like the pants always seem to come up above the belly button, and the shirt somehow gets tucked in. And you know they walk, they just like walk, they get like a little, they just like a little old. I'm like, well, yeah, I'm like our son. The way <laughs> like, he's been brushing his hair, hair. hair. <laughs> he's still brushing the hair weirdly. He's like, you do, you do, you do, you, are you an old Jew, dude? <laughs> what is, what's happening here, son? Yeah, that's a. That's that's pretty that's pretty wild. I mean, that's like along the lines of what people consider to be like a glitch in the matrix, you know, yeah. you, to to uh, help question even if reality is anything or is this is this a hologram? Are we living in some sort of digital universe? Yeah, where 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 something like that can happen? I mean, I know I tried to talk about those electrons that you can like see in two different places at once, and scientists have figured out a way to encode information. And All then right. when it hops to another spot, that state, that information stays with it. Yeah, which is it's pretty wild. And I'm I'm again I'm pretty sure that line of science could have something to do with that sort of uh, transference of um, consciousness. I guess mm -hmm. like yeah. if consciousness has something to do with the electrical impulses that are inside of us or the electrical firings of the synapses and electrons and i'm done <laughs> <laughs> i i've exhausted my ability to speak on what i was speaking about <laughs> right there Woo, i tapped out yeah I tapped out. i gotta yeah. be honest yeah <laughs> this is about honesty right? yeah all right yeah and i mean um the other i just remember what the other ones were it was ayahuasca experiences okay. you know because the the what i thought was interesting there was a the shaman said that there was a plant 
that could speak human like and we could understand the plant and like that's what the ex- that's why that plant does that to us like yeah. that's the experience which i just thought was a weird and an interesting way to look yeah at it, I'm, 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 i think i'm pretty close to um a psychedelic experience that is gonna allow me to speak more on on those things yeah right i feel like i feel like it's just like um it's hovering around me you know yeah and i a lot, for me a lot of it's just building up the confidence to do it yeah you know it's uh like to actually, you know, you know, people like, again, like if you've listened to Stoner Dads, you have an idea of the other stuff that I'm involved with. You know that I've, I've taken mushrooms before, mm-hmm. you know, but never necessarily a, the the dose like the, mm-hmm. you know, the, the dose that takes you there. And and I've never experienced any other form of psychedelic other than the moderate amount of mushrooms that I've experienced. Ex- mm-hmm. Except when I went to that bachelor party, I was a little more than moderate. <laughs> <laughs> I was a little more than moderate. That might have been major, because <laughs> <laughs> that, that was quite an experience. That, yeah. was, that was different than all of the other experiences that I had up until that point. But I don't know if it was the dose. Yeah, you know. So, um, I'm curious. <clears throat> yeah. I'm very curious. You know, it's um, how you feeling? How you feeling with this all new format for Two Jack Rose? It's a good format. It's good so far, right? Yeah. It's 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 easy. It's breezy. Beautiful cover. Okay, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> I apologize. We got another segment here. You ready? Oh. Now, this is uh, this segment, of course, it was uh, inspired by the fact that, again, after the recent tragedy that we've experienced, mm-hmm. right? We And you were saying about how you wanted to, like, help more. Yeah. Right? And Fuck I, that. I, I, that lasted a week. No, I'm yeah. just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to high five you. Like, All right. No, never mind that segment. We're good. We are good. <laughs> No, no, no. <laughs> no, no, because that sounds like a lot of extra work. I'm fucking down. <laughs> yeah. I'm totally down. We go back to being who we were before all yeah, that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm totally down. <laughs> but yeah, no, I just I, I I thought that you know at the very least we could um, add a segment here where we where we speak to that. Like, is there is there anything that uh, I was I was thinking about um, like unsolicited advice to, as a name. But also, as a name, it was like, let me get that for you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> let me let me help you with that. Let me let me get, let me, yeah. let me help you with that. Yeah. Right. So, uh, let me get that for you. Is what you'd prefer? I like that. All right. Let me get that for you. Let me get okay. That for you. <laughs> so, uh, is there anything that you uh, you wanna you wanna get that you wanna get for them? <laughs> <laughs> um, man, I don't. Um, I don't. Know, I guess I have to go with wherever my thoughts went first, right? Like, cause, cause I want to be all deep and wise and, uh, yeah. you know, but Let's start authentic yeah. end up deep and wise. Okay. Okay. Cause I, my thoughts went to, you know, because like wanting to be able to help other people or say something, say something, I guess wanting to be able to say something wise to other people who have recently lost somebody that they love, mm-hmm. you know? Um, damn it. I should have went first. <laughs> <laughs> Don't Fuck. eat so many donuts. <laughs> it's definitely donut related. <laughs> if you're gonna get a donut, buy one for the guy outside. <laughs> yeah, let me let me let, let me let me let me get that for you. <laughs> me, I got you. I got you. <laughs> Pay it forward with your donuts. <laughs> you paying it forward with donuts out there, city? <laughs> I do. I do pay it forward. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> One glazed donut at a time. <laughs> it's exponential. Yeah, yeah. I pay it for her with a donut. That guy eats a donut and moves on with his life. <laughs> <laughs> that, that more than likely, that guy waits for me to leave and throws that donut in the trash. <laughs> <laughs> I would not eat a donut from a yeah, stranger. No. It walks around with a weird frown face for the rest of the night. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, why did I, like, why did I even let him put that donut in my hand? Why did I take that donut from that man? <laughs> now he's questioning himself. <laughs> I am paying it for it. Now he goes home and he gets in a weird argument with his wife, <laughs> which leads her to tell that story the next day at work. The like, guy gave my husband a donut last night and he could not stop talking about it. <laughs> it was just... <laughs> So yeah, I'm paying it forward. Now oh, they're paying it wow. forward. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, but yeah. So you helping people <laughs> with yeah. uh, the 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 grief of of dealing with the recent loss of a, of a loved one. Yeah. Yeah. And um, I don't know. I guess uh, I don't think there's anything that you can say. I think it's all shit. All the words. I think you've got to somehow 
continue to find gratitude in your life. And I don't quite know what that means. I've been like thinking about how people that I'm like, oh, wow, they show a lot of gratitude or I think that they have gratitude. I've been thinking about how they express themselves and how people handle it. And um, I think people do it differently, you know. Mm -hmm. Um, So I think you've got to find what that means to you and uh, somehow just tap into that. Definitely should have went first. <laughs> I definitely should have went first, man. Yeah. Goodness gracious, I should have went first on the other one too. <laughs> no, but I did go first. I went first on that one. That was good. I played that one right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, well, I'll, I'll say this. You know, it's uh, it's it's not donut related, but it's uh, <laughs> you know, because because you know, I've been doing pull ups every day. Well, Mon- I've been doing. I've been on a, a pull-up schedule Monday through Thursday. <laughs> okay. Right. That's and yeah. Go, no, good. Yeah. Not every day, but not okay. every day. Like, that, I I walked that back by okay. four days. Yeah. <laughs> three days. I walked <laughs> yeah. it back by three days. Yeah. Right. Okay. So, yeah, Monday through Thursday, uh, I'm I'm doing my pull-ups and I do them all throughout the day. So, but I'm doing sets of eight. I'm up to sets of eight. Uh, you know, I was at sets of, uh, like a month, like two months ago, I think I was at sets of six, then I did sets of seven, now I'm at sets of eight. So I'm doing at least 32 pull-ups a day because I'm doing at least four sets throughout the day, right? Yeah. And uh, this week I'm resting. I'm just, I'm, I'm actively resting. You're actively eating donuts. I'm active. <laughs> <laughs> that is the, the moment I decided to stop doing pull-ups, I started eating donuts. <laughs> Listen, I got to get jacked one way or another. <laughs> Yeah, but I guess that's um, I guess my advice would be to kind of monitor. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm living it, man. I know how hard it is. It sucks, you know. Yeah. And if you could do, I, I, and I think, uh, you know, I'm, ch- I'm I'm chasing I'm chasing a particular donut fix because when I recently I've been going to get my donuts at night and I haven't been able to get the Wawa donuts because they keep being out of the donuts, you know. <laughs> And You're setting yourself up for failure. I am. Man. It's, def- it's definitely setting myself up for failure, and it's. Uh, but it's 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 more than just, you know, when you when you have a compulsive eating problem like like I do, or when you've been uh, overweight like I have been, you know, from eating and indulging in all the uh, all the the carnal pleasures that food has to offer, which is how I got there. How do you not see that you are a single mom? <laughs> <laughs> You hate what you are, right? <laughs> you hate what you fight. That's what you battle. Yeah. That's your battle. You, so that's why I have a problem with single moms. Fair enough. Right? Uh, you know, I, I need to, I, yeah, well, that's, again, second step. <laughs> second step. Like, first step, I realized that single moms make the best athletes. Yeah. Second step, I realized that I am a single mom. <laughs> <laughs> like, pretty soon, I'm going to be like, yeah, single moms ain't that bad. Pretty yeah. Soon, right? <laughs> pretty soon. But, yeah, it's, you know, you build up uh, as, as, a, as an eater, of this caliber, <laughs> you you build up uh, a, a, a you, it's more than just like the the biting and chewing and tasting of the food. There's an experience that goes with it, and it's like getting this donut at this time is the is an experience that I've been chasing and not able to have. But I've also been uh, supplementing that experience because it's like I'm not gonna have no experience tonight, you know. So I've been getting. Other things that have also been sweet, but not necessarily the donut that I'm looking for. So I've just been extending this process. I mean, I could have been this whole entire time. Every time that I had a donut, just leave, just go home. And just like wait until that one time I can get that particular experiential donut and then move on. Yeah. Right. But it's, uh, I don't know, man. It's a donut eat donut world out there. I'm just, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just a squirrel trying to get a donut. <laughs> Yeah, that's my that's my unsolicited advice. I don't know if it was necessarily <laughs> good advice. Actually, it's like that was my solicitation of advice. Can somebody <laughs> please help me stop eating donuts? <laughs> you gotta hit your donut rock bottom, Sydney. I am. I think you gotta get there on your own, dude. My do- uh, that's my donut rock bottom is a soft landing because it's covered in donut holes. <laughs> <laughs> it's just I'm just eating stale donuts. Yeah, like, that's my rock bottom. <laughs> just hard old donuts <laughs> i did i literally did that the other day that that's part of why i haven't necessarily gotten my fix because i went there and if this if this guy didn't say anything to me i would have gotten my fix this would have been the fix so i go there to wawa to get my donuts and there's like one glazed donut left and you know how i don't like to take the last 
donut in the donut case at Wawa, right? But it's like, I just, I need to do this. And I, I'm like looking at him for a while trying to make this decision. And the, the cashier goes, he's like, yeah, you don't want those donuts. They've been out there since 5 a.m. two days ago. And I go, I'll take my chances. And he's like, all right, go ahead if you want to. So I grab the donut and I bring it over to the register and I go, uh, do I have to fill out a waiver for this donut? And we mm-hmm. had a chuckle. <laughs> <laughs> a little chuckle. Yeah. Right? And then, um, but I went out and I ate that donut because I knew that it wasn't a fresh donut. Yeah. It it tainted the experience of eating the donut. The day old donuts are the worst. And you're like, I shouldn't even be eating this. Why am I eating this? And as far you as I'm concerned, it. I eat it every I, time. I eat it too. And a lot of the times I'm like, if I didn't know this was day old, I don't think I'd have a problem with it. Yeah, this. but I definitely have a problem. Only because you know. Yeah. It's it. Yeah. Right. So that was ru- that ruined the donut eating experience for me. So I'm still chasing that experience. Man. It wasn't even your rock bottom, huh? Not yet. Ooh. Eating, eating, like like uh, consciously and like purposely buying two day old donuts that somebody warned me not to buy. <laughs> yeah, you still did it. <laughs> I bought it from that guy who warned me not yeah. to buy it. Yeah. 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 I did that. Yeah. I did that. Wasn't my proudest moment, but I did that. Yeah. Yeah. So all right, let's you ready to yeah. last, yeah. you ready to last <laughs> segment out, out of this? I am, I am. All right. Here we go. Ansley. How was your quest for enlightenment this week? Did you get it? Did you reach it? Were you close? What kept it from happening? Oh, Spill the tea. I feel like I feel like um I saw the shining light. I saw like, you know, you know, I had a week that reinforced that it's out there somewhere. You know, I'm not there. But it's out there. I believe in it. Yeah. You know, so. All right. I don't think I got it this week. No, no I don't think you did. <laughs> I don't think I got it. I don't think I got it. I, I do believe it's out there, though. Yeah. You know? And uh, again, I feel like, uh, you know, I, there. I feel like there are a lot of different paths to enlightenment. <laughs> Day old stale donuts <laughs> is not one of them. It, but it might be a step along that path. And I think just being open to that puts me closer to enlightenment. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. I just I don't think the experience of me going into there, into that Wawa in like buying uh, fucking donuts that came with a warning, you know, Man, if you were if you were on an Avatar show and you were like, you'd be like the boom boom boom. What's his boomy? Boomy. You'd be like boomy, but like they'd be like, you know, they'd set you up for a test and they'd be like, the finish is over there. They'd be like, you got to get to the finish. And they'd be like, all right, ready, go. And you'd turn around and go the other way, and you'd be like, this is part of the journey. <laughs> <laughs> And the, the kid learning would be like, but I don't get it. Like the finish line is over there. And you'll be like, ah, the donuts are yeah. over there. Man, I would just, that's, yeah. It would be funny if somebody opened up a business called Disclaimer Donuts. <laughs> and like you just go there to buy donuts. And like, I wouldn't eat them. Like, I'm fucking eating them. <laughs> <laughs> the donuts are here. I'm eating them. It's just there for people to ma- that need to make bad choices. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> if you need to make a bad choice and have a soft landing. Yeah. Come to Disclaimer Donuts. Disclaimer Donuts, everybody. Everybody gets a donut. <laughs> <laughs> you shouldn't have it, but you I mean, can have it. <laughs> everyone, everyone goes home with a donut they Shouldn't have and technically don't want. <laughs> 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 All right. I think uh I think we did it. Yeah. I think we did it again. Yeah. Yeah. Is uh is there anything else you feel like you, you needed to get off your chest? I mean, there's always an opportunity for a little rant at the end if you if there's something you needed to say. <laughs> That's built in, huh? Yeah. Your format you build in rant time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um You get you're on the clock though. Yeah, I'm on the clock. Yeah. You get a minute. I just I felt like God today when I yelled from our bathroom second floor store st- second floor window to people please like because I yelled very politely to yeah. like please don't put your dog poop in our trash can <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and yeah. I was even helpful I was like there's a dumpster across the way and they were like where is that voice coming yeah. from <laughs> <laughs> a d- little um a spoiler alert a little insider information. Uh, for whatever reason, genetically, when Ansley yells, she sounds like Jerry <laughs> Seinfeld. <laughs> so that's how she's saying the web, but it was more like, what's the deal with putting that poop in our trash can? 
there's a dumpster right over there. <laughs> Why can't you go over there? <laughs> I mean, it's a dumpster, and you're holding a bag with a dump in it. <laughs> Put the dump in the dumpster. <laughs> That's what she screamed at her window today. <laughs> oh, man. All right. I think that was a good. I think that was a good episode of Two Jack Bros with the new format. <laughs> Yeah. You feeling it? Yeah. Feeling yeah. It. Yeah. And like, keep on coming back. Well, I, I like that. I, li- I do like the segment. How do you, how do you brand your week? Yeah. I feel like that's a fun one. We'll always come back to that. Yeah. Uh, the, my bads will typically be the second. The, our apologies. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And uh, yeah, you can rock with us. Like now you can, now you can, now you can follow along with us. And tell us about your week. Yeah. Your week. Like, like, like how do you brand your week? You know what I mean? Like, uh, did you any apologies? You feel like you have to get out there, get off yeah. your chest. You know, let us let, let us know. We out here, we are out here, and we are we're looking to be. You know, I felt I feel like um, one of the reasons that we again avoided uh, you know trying to connect in this way is because we didn't want to. You know, we we were hesitant to try to become any sort of like weird guru or, or develop a, like a following or, or something. You know, we're just trying to entertain, but it's it's like, but we we're very connective and we're holding that back. And again, if 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 nothing about this recent tragedy uh, that we experienced again, it was like the loss of Ansley's mother, who was this person who seemed like she wasn't holding back. Yeah. You know, she was she was given all that she wanted to give, and and she didn't care how that was taken. Yeah. And I'm I'm ready for that now. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So we're going to get some shout outs. <clears throat> I apologize. I, I tried to sing that. I <laughs> shouldn't have. I shouldn't have done that. That was disrespectful. Was that triggering? I um. So real quick. Oh, and yet also join the Patreon. Uh, the Patreon this week is probably going to be really short because we're we're pressed up against the clock as it is. So we might have to just after these sh- shout outs, just stay right here and just like crank something out really quick for the Patreon. I feel like you're giving people our business. When you tell them about this. Yeah? Yeah. Just just come to the Patreon. We'll talk to you then. Yeah. Why are you so afraid for the people to know our business? I thought we were sharing that. <laughs> 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 All right. Shout out to Mike Butler, Mike Levy, Lizbot, Doc, Kevin Stevens, Julian from Canada, Kevin Lau, Mary Jo Butterly, Nicole, Raj, Nell, Courtney, Coach Rick, what up? Keith Buzz, Andrew Pace, my man. Kyle Hancock, Erica Daniels, Levi Mercer, Justin Masabi, Ezekiel Ellis, Logan, Ryan, Roger Down, Joe Rob, Joe Francis, and his girlfriend's company, Saved by the Wreath. TJ James, our man down under, holding us down. Nick Cupsey and his two books, Lost in the Mail, and The Five People You Meet in Wawa. Oh, sorry, this old guy. I don't remember who you are, but I hope you made it through all the pandemic and all the cancellations. Chris Bruno, what up? Congratulations on your wedding. And man, I'll never forget Macaroni Bar. <laughs> Damn, that was awesome. Kevin McGrand, Graham Hoffman, Chris Tucker, Derek Towson, who is my brother. We have a different last name, but I think you kind of understand where that's coming from. Sean Dowdy, <laughs> Guy Patterson, Brian Bachner, Tuscany Rodriguez, Sean, the Boner King, King of All Boners, John Montag, Sam Amon, Cam Snyder, and a special shout out to Sam Amon, who's doing our, um, you know, because we're, re- we're, re- we're rebranding too, and we're, we got some uh, really cool art coming out that we're going to be using to rebrand this podcast uh pretty soon so i want to thank sam amon for uh lending his talents to that and man just a great guy to connect with so you're currently listening to melissa bio kingdom and her band circadian clock check her out on beethoven by the way check out our patreon thank you so much for listening you trying to lay our listeners? I am. Yeah. I am. <laughs> you're like, I get you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, yeah, that was so deep. Listen, oh my God, you're so. <laughs> I just really appreciate the connection that I have with you. It's just so, like, it's so transcendent. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much for listening. We love you guys. Bye.